Have you ever seen a portrait or landscape and wondered how the artists achieve that realistic effect? How does the artist manage to achieve a true likeness in a portrait? You will find that some of them use a system called a grid. If you watch a programme, say for example National Portrait Artist of the Year, you will see several of the artists using a grid and achieving great results. And in today's tutorial, I will show you how you can achieve great results too. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can improve your drawing skills by using the simple grid on any reference image. And using this as a guide will help you gain accuracy with your detailed drawings or paintings. If you would like to see how I created this watercolour study using the grid method, click on the card in the top right hand corner or find the link in the description below. The thing you will need to consider is how big or small your grid will need to be. Say for example if it's a still life or an image of an animal, it will be a medium or, or larger size grid, whereas if it's a portrait and you're trying to achieve a likeness, the squares will need to be smaller so you can get more detail. You may have heard some people saying that using a grid is cheating. This is a matter of opinion and you should take into account that the grid is a device that has been used for, by the Egyptians and the Renaissance artists in their work. The most important thing is that you feel confident when you are creating your artwork. Here we have two different types of grids that you can use. The first one is a grid that is drawn on top of the image by hand. On the right hand side we have a grid that has been printed onto acetate and then placed on top of the image. There are also several apps that will help you by putting a grid onto the image for you. The first one I'm going to talk about is on Android and it's called Drawing Grid Maker. And then I am going to be using today an app called Grid Hashtag, which is available for iPhone. So let's move on to the tutorial. I'm now going to show you, this is the image that I've used from Grid Hashtag. And I'm now going to show you how I transferred that image. The image I created is a square photograph and I'm going to put details below of the image. Um, that I got from Pixabay. I then divided the image into 15 because that fit nicely with my paper that was 30 centimeters wide. So then I could scale it up times two and make each of my squares two centimeters wide. So I'm now going to show you the process that I went through where I'm measuring my squares and I like to make my line straight so what I do is I always draw the opposing line and then I can join my lines up correctly because sometimes if you don't do that your lines can go a bit off at an angle and obviously then you've got to go back and rub them out so it's much easier just to spend a bit more time and do the markers on the other side.
If you enjoyed this clip, then make sure you check out more clips like this in the Arts Basics series. Also, don't forget to catch the second part of this series where I finish this sketch and turn it into a painting. Don't forget to look in the description below for details of products used in today's clip. And if you have any ideas for content or questions, then please leave a comment below. Finally, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content.